Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial inspired by Jesse J's new music video called Flashlight. No, that's not how the song goes. She's sporting two looks in the video. One is supernatural wink liner nude lips, and the other one is sort of like this vampy going out, clubbing, sexy, smoky eyes, dark nude lips. So I chose for the last look, and I absolutely adore it. It's so sensual. Smoky, sexy, fun. So yeah, without any further ado, if you want to know how to get this look, then please stay tuned. I'm doing this thing now where I take up the first portion of my hair when I'm doing a top knot because I don't want people to think that I'm bald. The first product I'll be using today is by Nivea. This is Nivea Men, and this is called Aftershave Balm. So I talked about this in my April Hits and I Got Knows, and what this actually does, it's the best primer you could ever think of, because the second most used ingredient in this mixture is glycerin. And what does glycerin do? Glycerin makes stuff stick to it. So when you put this on your face, your foundation sticks to it and lasts longer. And as it starts to dry, you can really feel it becoming tacky and it's exactly what you want. Then I'm going in with the Smashbox Primer Water. I just really like the way this makes my face feel when I'm doing my foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC15. I just, I've been really loving how this makes my skin look, so I'm gonna use it today. And the brush I'll be using is the Flat Angled Kabuki Brush by Sigma, it's the F88. For concealer, I'm gonna use Max Pro Longwear in NC15. And then with my Real Technique sponge, I'm gonna work this all in. And quickly setting that with powder to prevent it from creasing. All right, so I already went ahead and primed my lid so we can get straight to work. The first eyeshadow I'll be using is Latte by Makeup Geek. I'm just starting off by applying this straight into my crease, mainly on the outer corners for now. We're gonna wing the shape just a tiny bit on the outer corners, just the tiniest bit. Then with a smaller, more precise blending brush, this is the MAC 221, I'm gonna drag it on towards the inner part of my crease and then nicely blend it together. And just go ahead and keep intensifying that. On the lower lash line, I'm applying a mixture of Makeup Geek's Latte and Anastasia Beverly Hills Smoke and sorry for my nails. And you just wanna smoke this from outer to inner corners. On the lid, I'll be applying a mixture of Makeup Geek's Fold Eyeshadow in In The Spotlight, and also by Makeup Geek and also Fold Eyeshadow, Magic Act. Then again, with Anastasia Ripley Hill Smoke, I'm deepening the outer crease and corners. Now with my Hourglass 1.5 Mechanical Gel Liner, I'm gonna line my waterline plus inner corners. And I'm afraid I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't do this on camera. So I pretty much did the entire eye tutorial and I found out that my camera was not recording, so let's talk you through it. After applying the black pencil to my waterline, I went in with a black eyeshadow and I buffed and smoked it out. Then all I did was my winged eyeliner and for that I used my Cavani Tattoo Liner in Trooper and my NYC Black Liquid Liner. And all I did was create a winged liner that is a little bit more thick, but not as winged out.
Now, all that you want to do is apply mascara and falsies, and the falsies I'll be using today are by House of Lashes, and these are the Heartbreakers. Waiting for that to dry. Waiting for that to dry. Whoa, 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 whoa. And lastly, mascara on the lower lashes. Okay. All right, for cheeks, what I'm now gonna do is contour because if I don't, I look like the bald guy from Game of Thrones. So I'm gonna contour today using my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette with this color. Gonna shade with this color. Then to warm up my complexion, I'm taking the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in number one. I've been really enjoying this. For blush, I'm using a tiny bit of Max Peaches. Then for an all over glow, I'm taking this Bobby, Bra Bo Bobby. I've been getting so many comments that I pronounce it wrong. Bobby. This is the highlight powder in bronze glow. And just with a bigger brush, this is by Zueva. And then kind of glow all over my cheeks. Then after that, I apply it above the arch of my brow. Yes, just basically your entire face. And then for an intense glow, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I just, I didn't want to use Moonstone again because I've been using Moonstone in every tutorial I did what's going on with my hair. Yeah. Oh, that is, oh. It's been a long time, my friend. That's it for the cheeks. All right, for lips, Jessie wore this super nice, matte, somewhat darker nude lips. I'm gonna line my lips using Swirl Lip Pencil by MAC. Now for liquid lipstick, I'm gonna take the Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipstick, and this is the color Birthday Suit. And then because that is a little bit too pinky, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. And that, guys, concludes my Jesse J Flashlight inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. As always, don't forget to check out the full list of every single products that I mentioned on my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. That all is Nikki Tutorials. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to my April hits and oh God knows.